my teenage years were basically the 50s and that was just one big closet. No one ever, I, I didn't even know what the word homosexual meant. Coming out was not even an option necessarily, you know, it was still, it was still a crime to be a homosexual, obviously. And uh, when I started teaching and went into a big school system, you know, a lot of gay men and gay women uh, become, get an education. And, and I found friends and gradually my family, my friends knew that I was gay. My first thoughts were, I wish I knew people like myself that were about my age, because I thought if, if you were being gay or if you were being queer, you had to be an old man somewhere, you know, young people didn't do that. But I finally met a couple of young people and that was so interesting to finally find friends that were really like me and that we could talk on the same level and so forth. So, you know, it was almost like you were in a secret society somewhere. Gay bars were like, for, not forbidden, but you, as an inner circle, you knew where the bar, you knew where to go, you knew what bars to go to. I, I don't know, there was a kind of an, int a little bit of an excitement in being gay at that time because, because you were, you were special, you were individual, and you were kind of doing something that, that was a little bit secret. I mean, you know, you didn't meet people easily unless you cruised the streets and so forth. There were some gay magazines and newspapers, and there was a magazine called Screw. They would have kind of secret ads in there as to meeting people. Now, I met him through an ad in, uh, I don't know if it was Screw Magazine or one of the other magazines, but that's how we met through uh, an ad in one of the uh, newspapers. And Michael had just gotten out of Syracuse, and I was like 15 years older than he was. So I thought, oh, 21 year old is pretty young. But Michael was a lot more paranoid than I was. So he was a little more reticent to disclose himself to his family and, and friends. But that was our only, if that was the only difficulty I think we had during our relationship was just him not being as open as I was about it. We're talking about a whole different era when there was no acceptance to gay people. <clears throat> we, it, my, with my partner, we couldn't get married, we couldn't, uh, you couldn't do much of anything. We did own property together, but we couldn't do other things. When Michael died, I was 60, and uh, Michael was diagnosed with AIDS in 88, and he died four years later. So that changed my, in my entire life, changed at that point. 